Hello everyone, we have the Twilight at Dusk Town Voyage of Wonder. So first we have some dialogue from the Sheriff, and then now we have to head to the Jeweler over here. So let's go ahead and make the path down to the Jeweler. We do have some of these um, shadows to clear up, so just going ahead and um, moving over here to the Jeweler. And there we go, let's go ahead and speak with the Jewelry Store. So we have our first quest. Someone is apparently spreading rumors about the jeweler around town. Go find out who's behind it. So we have to investigate the farmer's home and investigate the cleric's residence. Now, if we move over to the right here, we have, I believe this is the farmer's residence. Let's go ahead and knock on the door. And it looks like no one was home for that, but we also do have the cleric up here. So let's go ahead and speak with the cleric. And now we have another quest. The cleric says that the Dark Presence has been lingering near his home and has asked us to investigate. So now moving over to the right again, we do have a little path over here. So let's go ahead and do some more exploring over here. And we do have two ways to go. The first way I'm going to go is down through this um, little gate. And we do have our first chest, so let's go ahead and pick this up. And looking over to the left, we do have a little building. The, we have the Gravekeeper's Hut. Let's go ahead and speak with the person in here. And we have another quest here. Um, the Gravekeeper says that someone has been sneaking into the cemetery and robbing grave. He's asked us to investigate. And it looks like we have completed the jeweler's quest in there as well. So I'm going to speak with the jeweler again. I will go back to the jewelry store and speak with him. And we won't get any useful information during the day, so it looks like we will have to go into nighttime. That is why this Dust Town Bell Tower in the middle here is here. This allows us to wait until night. And now it is nighttime, and now we can go go ahead and head over to the church. So let's go ahead and move up here. We do have the church right up here in the top area. So let's go ahead and inspect the church. And here we have uh, Moro, and we are surrounded by camps. Um, I believe we only have to take down one of these camps to take down all four. So I'll just go ahead and take down this one over to the left. And there we go. Took down one of the camps there, and all the camps are down now. Um, but we also do have a, a chest right here, so let's go ahead and get the chest. And moving over here, we do have a small camp right here. I believe this was a bigger camp earlier during the day. So now that this is a smaller camp, it should be weaker and we should be able to take this one down. And there we go, that camp is also down. Also a good thing that we get some relics in here. And now it pointed me over to the cleric a little um, earlier here, so let's go ahead and talk with the cleric again. And I have completed the cleric's quest, and now it says interrogate the farmer. Since the farmer, since it is night out, the farmer is in his house, so let's go ahead and mm -hmm. knock on the farmer's res residence again. And now we have the lantern berry quest. The farmer's sister is in urgent need of lantern berries. We need to find a way to reach the foot of the mountain and pick up, pick up some for her. And now we need to go back into dawn, so let's go ahead and um, go to the dust town bell tower again and wait until dawn. And there we go, and now we have to head over to the cemetery again, and let's go ahead and speak with the with the Gravekeeper. And we have completed that quest, let's go find some planks in the graveyard. So, um, let's move over here. Now, I believe the one that we have to look at is this top um, gravestone. Let's go ahead and ins inspect that one, and there we go, we found some planks. And now we have to catch the grave robber. The grave robber has been sneaking into the cemetery through the waterways, perhaps he's hidden um, his loot in one of the islands. So now we have to um, move over into the water. So let's go ahead and move over here. And then we can just go ahead and, and tap on the water. And there we go. Now we are a boat. I will move over to the left here and go on to this little island right here. And we do have some chests in here to pick up. So let's go ahead and pick up those. And moving up here, we do have another chest up here. So let's go ahead and get this one. And then let's go ahead and move over to the right again over onto this island and looking over to the left we do have another camp so let's go ahead and take this camp down and there we go that camp is also down and moving up through here we do have another chest so let's go ahead and pick this one up and then moving over to the right here we do have this contraption here it's called the watergate switch um, we are going to use this watergate switch to lower this gate down so we can have access to this area over here and now that we have access here, we can go ahead and move up into this island. And we do have some chests guarded by some camps, so I will go ahead and take down um, these two camps here. And there we go, I took down those two camps, and um, make sure you get the chest from here. 
And looking over to the left, we do have another camp right here as well, so I will go ahead and take this one down. And that camp is also down. And looking over to the left here, we have this tree. This is where we get the lantern berries. So we are going to pick up some lantern berries from here. And here comes the farmer. And from here, we have to fight the farmer Rigby. So let's go ahead and do this one. And for this battle, we have to lose this battle. As you can see, the power here is way too high. So that, that says that we have to lose this one. I am going to play it smart and just use a random hero in here instead of my main team. And there we go, I have lost this battle, and we have a narrow escape. So now we have completed the Lantern Berry quest, now we have to punish evil, the farmer cannot be allowed to continue doing evil, we have to stop him no matter what. So let's go ahead and get this chest right off the bat here. And I do have this here just in case if you've lost your heroes, but I will uh, I will ignore that for now and move down this area. We do have, um, we do have this um, water gate switch down here. I will go ahead and use that first, and then we have another camp to take down. And now with that camp out of the way, we can go ahead and move back up here, back to the main area, and we do have another camp here that we need to take down. And now with that camp out of the way, I will go ahead and move over here. We do have another camp right here that, that we need to take down. And there we go, that camp is also down. And now we can go ahead and make our way up to the church, which is on fire thanks to Rigby. Um, now that we have gained some power here, let's go ahead and try to take down the farmer again. And there we go, now we can see the power is a lot less with Rigby, so we should be able to win this battle. And there we go, we won that battle with Rigby. Now at this point we have to make a decision, we have to talk with the cleric. A cleric's gaze is fixed on you as he anxiously awaits your decision. If you destroy the long burn lamp, you'll lose all the power contained within. So we have to just to decide whether to destroy the lamp or keep it. I am going to destroy it here. And now it says open up the cemetery and um, learn the truth. And here comes Braun. Braun is um, the gravekeeper. And now from here, let's go ahead and fight Braun. And there we go. We took down the gravekeeper there. And now we have a new beginning, and we also have completed the quest, and we also have um, this chest here. Now this is not it because there is, I believe, one more chest up here at the very beginning that we need to take down. So let's go ahead and get this um, camp taken care of, and then we can go ahead and get the chest here. Or actually, because he went across the, um, the lake there, we actually don't need to take down that camp. So let's just go ahead and get the chest. And there we go, let's go ahead and check the menu here and see if we've gotten everything. It looks like we have gotten all the chests in this one, so let's go ahead and finish the adventure. And if you like this video, then make sure to click the like button. Also subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a new video from me. And also comment what do you think about this Voyage of Wonder. And thanks for watching.